I believe that every man who has ever been earnest to preserve his higher or poetic faculties in the best condition has been particularly inclined to abstain from animal food. Henry David Thoreau. My name is John Rose. And in this video, I'd like to show you guys another way to help convince a certain personality type on the hero's journey to get them to join. My last video, we took a look at the green personality profile, the skeptics, the perfectionist. They want to know what's wrong. They also want to know how to do things. The personality we're looking at now are the blue personalities, and they want to know why. These are our nature lovers. These are our artists, our poets, our philosophers. Remember, we look at the four main personalities. I'll put links down below to other videos that explain this test in more detail. Reds act. They do things quickly. Yellows talk. They do things friendly. Blues think. They do things creatively. Greens ally. They do things carefully. So now we went over what we do with the greens. We show them what they're looking for and what's wrong. They also need to know how. But, we get, but first, you got to get past that skepticism. The blues, they want to know why. Well, if they're nature lovers, as Thoreau points out, everyone who has an earnest pursuit to preserve their, their higher and poetic faculties seems to just know instinctively to abstain from animal foods. As Herodotus once pointed out, that the plant-eating nations surpassed all the other meat-eating nations in every area except two, the warlike expression and their obsession with sex. Otherwise, art, music, philosophy, literature, poetry, if that's the type of person you are, there's a good reason to stop eating those animals. There's a good reason to stop cooking your food and stop eating plants you're not biologically adapted to eat. So, the easiest personality I believe to convince are the blues because they want to know why. They understand the consequences. Reds ask what and when. The yellows ask who and who else. Blues ask why and what if. The greens ask how and where. So the why, that's the most important of all the questions we ask. And Unless you've got a lot of that personality trait, you might not be that interested in it. Don't tell me why I gotta do it, just tell me what to do. The Reds want to do it quickly. Ready, fire, aim is their motto. They do things quickly. And what we got now so far are the, the greens and the blues. So if we combine those two personality traits, we have an extroverted personality. So when you're on the hero's journey and trying to help people understand what's going on, to try to light a fire under them so they can test an idea whose time has come because that's really the only way you're going to convince anybody. They've got to see this for themselves. But when you got that introverted person, first off, tell them what's wrong with it. Well, this is our species-specific diet. It is our ideal diet in an ideal world, but we're damaged. We've got another group of needs now, but we can't ignore our anatomical limitations. We still have to respect those. We've got to figure out how do we provide what might be level two nutrients that we aren't able to make because now we're dependent upon the wrong foods. If we'd never eaten the wrong foods, it'd be a whole different story. Or if our ancestors had never eaten them, which is, has happened to a lot of people. I've mentioned before. That's why some people do better on certain diets because their ancestors had more experience eating those foods and they've adapted to them better. But that doesn't mean we're impervious to the overall effect from it. So when you got a, an introverted person, show them what's wrong with it. it. It doesn't work for everyone. We gotta tweak it. Sometimes you gotta supplement it. But that doesn't mean, it that doesn't take away the fact that it's still our species specific diet. And even with a water fast, a solid food vacation, gotta modify that for most people also and take them on the juices instead. The best thing about the solid food vacation on juices is, is you see about you see results about 10 times faster if you just said, I'm gonna eat the food. You see things even faster on a water fast. It doesn't even take that long, but that's just such a hard thing to pull off nowadays that we've gotta be more concerned about the numbers than anything because things aren't gonna change unless we get to those numbers. So what, what, what do you got if you have an introverted person? 
Again, you show them what's wrong. The ideal diet might need to be modified. The best preparation for a better way of life might need to be modified. You gotta understand the benefits. What are we talking about here? Well, if you're a blue person, if you're a nature lover, if you're artistic, this is gonna help you in every other, all those areas. You're gonna appreciate this probably more than all the other personality traits because you guys are the nature lovers. And remember there's four main traits and I've gone over this in other videos. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'll just briefly explain it real quickly. Usually two traits are gonna dominate in one of three different situations. And when that happens, you have six personality types. I just went over one of those six personality types and two of the four main characteristics in my last two videos, including this one. You got the greens and the blues, those are introverted personality types. The opposite of that are the extroverts, the reds and the yellows. And then we have divergent and convergent. And then we also have individualist and conformist. Red blues, yellow greens. Yellow blues, red greens. So there are three pairs of polar opposites. You got convergent and divergent. You got the extrovert and the introvert. And then we have the uh, individualist and the conformist. That's how, so this is what you're gonna wanna be able to do as best as you can. Try to size up the people you know to make sure you can speak their language. Make it easier for them to figure out how important this is and to at least get them curious enough to give it a try. Tell them, give it a try, I guarantee you. You're in for a treat.